I like it when the kids walk through the door and they're, they have a smile on their face and they're going, what are we going to do today in science, Ms. Corn? Are we going to do something fun today in science? And my answer is always the same. It's always fun in science. <laughs> We're always going to have fun today. If you go into her classroom, at first one might think it's very chaotic. Kids are on the floor, they might be on the desk. It's hard to find her because she's mingled in somewhere. I don't care if they're raising their hand all the time. I don't stress out over that. If the kids are yelling answers, it means they're excited and they're focused and they're learning something. A little chaos is always fun. She does a great job of, we call hooking the students with an activator and making them want to know more about it to inquire more, to ask questions. We start out with Walter the worm. They have to figure out how to get a gummy worm inside a gummy saver, and they're given paper clips. They talk about it all year long. They still talk about Walter the worm. It's fun and it sets the scene for a great inquiry base. This is gonna be fun, we're gonna have a good time with this, but you're gonna learn things and you're gonna have to work together. It's important for them to be able to touch things because it. It helps them remember, it helps them learn. They don't remember sitting in class taking notes. She teaches so much more than science. She's teaching design principles, engineering. Uh, she's asking students to apply the scientific method to a variety of questions. I have a sign in my classroom that says, mistakes are expected, inspected, and respected. Because they are. I mean, I make mistakes, and they see me make mistakes. I'm human, and in those you don't always learn from things that you get right the first time. You learn from things that you mess up and you go back and you fix. One of the reasons I think Sherry brings such a, a breath of fresh air to education in general is that she has a level of understanding about how to connect with students and how to make content relevant for them. So when you ask students, you know, what do you like about your science class? You better be prepared for a very long answer. I invite guest speakers in here all the time. We have people from the community in all the time. I enjoy having people in and making an impact. They are so engaged by what they're doing. They're already thinking as fifth graders about the career options that they have. If I could clone her, I would because I would want to be in her classroom. I would want my child to be in her classroom. She's the kind of teacher we all want for our children. She's enthusiastic. She has a passion for what she does, and it's a contagious passion. Um, no student's gonna leave her room without A, learning something, and B, being excited about that learning. I believe that what happens in the four walls of her classroom should be happening in every classroom across our state. So when you're looking for a model of an excellent STEM teacher, I think Sherry exemplifies that, um, and I think her students would, would echo that sentiment.